Rogers. I think he saw me filming him. Okay, here we are at Romano's Macaroni Grill. Where we're going to have lunch today. At Romano's Macaroni Grill. This is a little far from my house. <clears throat> but we want to go here, so we're here. There used to be a Romano's Macaroni Grill close to our house, but that closed a while back and it was replaced by a Capitol Grill. Yeah, here we are, going inside. Inside the Macaroni Grill. Okay, everybody, welcome to Romano's Macaroni Grill. We are here to have some lunch. Getting keys made, or one key. Now it's cutting the key. Making machine. Add a brass key? No, no thanks, I just need the one key. Why do you keep asking me that? Your key. Your accuracy guarantee. My key. Here's the new key down here at the bottom. See that? That new key. Looks like Biden's still here. This is the Mayflower Hotel. And uh, he's uh, speaking at the Mayflower Hotel today. I think right now he's still here. So that's why there's a lot of a lot of security here because Biden is in the Mayflower Hotel. Let's see what we got here. We got a lot of Secret Service and a lot of uh, car. Uh, this is the Sale Street. The Sale Street is blocked off. And then what do we got here? Uh, what's going on? Looks like they're waiting. I don't know. He's supposed to speak until about uh, 11 or so. Or, I mean, until tonight at 8.30. But uh, I don't know what time he'll be. He'll be uh, leaving anyway. Anyway, that's the. Uh, that's why this whole street is blocked off because Biden's in there now. I don't have time for that though. I gotta go to the metro. So let's go to the metro. Well, I went to the Filipino store here called Juliana's only to find out that they're closed for good. Well, I went to Manila Oriental Grocery all the way out here only to find that they are closed today. Actually, not just today, 9 to 11. Just three days for Easter. I can see in there. They're closed. Okay, we are back at Jollibee. That's a Jollibee in Alexandria. Not too many people today. I think the hype has died down. Well, here's the Jollibee. Looks like it's not open yet. But, uh, as you can see, it's all set to go. They got all the signage. They got, uh, all the, uh, all the outside work done. You see that? They got this big Jollibee sign. They're hiring though. I ha I'm, I'm hearing that they're having trouble hiring people. So if you want to work at Jollibee, just go ahead and just go ahead and scan this QR code down here. So you can see the windows are still closed. 
of the Jollibee over here. Let's see what's going on inside. See all the the walls are painted and they got everything. Oh wow, look, they got all the seats and everything. They got all the seats and all that. See that? So it's ready to go, man. It's ready to go. And uh yeah. Jollibee is ready to go here. And here's the uh the drive through you can drive through here this is the drive through you can drive your car through here and order they even got the they even got the uh the little speaker where you uh make your order and then they've got the uh they've got the menu board as you can see chicken meat chicken joy chicken joy the spaghetti that's what i usually eat here see that's what i eat the Jolly Spaghetti and Soda is $8. But maybe I'll, I'll get the family pack next time. $17. That, I'll just eat that by myself. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, they're not open yet. I wonder. Everything's ready, man. Everything's ready to go. You know? See, this is where you, you drive down to... Uh, after you order there, you drive down here and then you... And then you uh and then you claim your order over here see you drive you drive past here and you stop here and then and then you claim your order so there's some post-it notes up there what does it say window repair cover wow brand new window it already needs repair well, this is where you pick up your food after you drive up you just open up and then welcome to Jollibee give me my spaghetti anyway All right, well, they're not open yet. Not open yet, as you can see. There's the window you can see through. I mean, you can look, they're still doing a little bit of work. There's a big ladder in the middle of the, the floor there. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to, uh, to when the Jollibee opens. Hopefully pretty soon. Okay, I just donated a TV, an old TV that I used to use for uh, for gaming, but I got rid of my PS3. So now I don't have uh, any use for that TV anymore, so I donated it. Well, while we're at the Goodwill, maybe I'll uh, go inside and see, uh, see if I can find anything good at the Goodwill. The Goodwill, the stuff at the Goodwill isn't as good as the stuff at um, at Salvation Army, but you know sometimes you get lucky and you find and you find some good stuff in there. But you know, just sometimes, not all the time. All right, Goodwill is also open on Sundays, but Salvation Army is not. Hello. Okay, welcome to Goodwill, everybody. There's always a uh, there's always a smell to these places, you know, I don't know, some musty, sweaty, smell of old shoes. Because here at the Goodwill, I don't think they, they clean the stuff as well as they do at the, uh, oh, look at this old Redskins jersey, that's old stuff. Uh, I don't know, yeah, they don't clean them as well as they do at the Salvation Army, I think. I think after it gets donated, it just goes straight to the rack. This one's brand new. Look, it hasn't even been... The labels are still on. Yeah, a lot of these definitely get straight to the rack after they're donated. You can still smell the... all the cooties. So when you buy them, you better take them home and wash it. Maybe disinfect it first. Just to make sure. Just to be safe, you know? Especially the shoes. Yep. 
it's good to uh, spray them with a little bit of uh, disinfectant spray before you uh, before you wear it, and then wash it just to make sure. Nah, I don't need any coats. It's a nice pair of Nikes. Yeah, they're kind of dirty though. That kind of stuff usually just gets thrown away. It's a windshield wiper. I kind of do need a windshield wiper for my car, but I don't know if it'll fit. Well, here's a dartboard, but where are the darts? And the dartboard isn't just kind of useless without the darts. Maybe they're down here. No darts. Anyone want any golf clubs? Look, somebody donated all their friends' DVDs. Look at that. If you're a big Friends fan, this is like the mother load. We got one, season one, season two, three, four, five, six. Oh, missing season seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, everything except season seven. Somebody bought season seven by itself. Here's an old Hannah Montana thermos. Look at that. It's Miley Cyrus. And she was Hannah Montana. Yes, if you want to store your breast milk, you need these bags. They're also good for your coffee. There's never really anything good here. Once in a while, there's some good stuff, but most of the time it's just old stuff that should be thrown out. All right, uh, I think I'll have lunch here. Oh, I'll have lunch here at the... Uh... Now let's try this place here. Quick Fire Hibachi. I haven't been to this place before. I think they have teriyaki chicken here. Teriyaki chicken is always good, so let's check it out. All right, welcome to the Hibachi grill. This is what I had. Combination. Beef, shrimp, and pork. Fried right, rice. Right. Wow. I wonder what this sauce is. Try it out. One more key. I dropped this in. Okay. We're done with lunch here at the Hibachi. First time here at the Hibachi. It's okay. It's not bad. Not as good as the, uh, the Hibachi that I get over at Manassas Mall, but it's not too bad. I would give it a 6 out of 10. Let's go over to the Dollar Tree and see if we can find something at the Dollar Tree over there. As you can see, there's the Dollar Tree. Yeah, let's go to the Dollar Tree, everybody. One nice thing about the Dollar Tree is they don't play music. They don't play music in the background, so I don't get in trouble with copyright stuff. So. So I can vlog with impunity in here. I didn't really come here to buy anything specific just to see. Sometimes I roam around and see something that I like and, or see something that I need but didn't know that I needed. So let's see. At the dollar store. I don't usually buy cleaning supplies at the dollar store. Sometimes I do, but not that often. <clears throat> I don't need pet supplies because I don't have a pet. And this is probably the section of the dollar store that I go to the most, the, uh, the tool section. I always need sandpapers to sand down my helmets. And a level, do I need a small level? Maybe. Maybe I need a small level. Maybe. Hmm, these are nice socks. Compression socks. I might need that. Oh, look at this. It's only a dollar here. Bought this at the Walmart for like two, three bucks. And I need this for my shoes. Anyone ever tried the eczema cream here at the dollar store? Is this any good? Does this actually work? Eczema cream. I remember during the pandemic, we'd 
and you would be lucky to find disinfectant spray on the shelves. And the only place you could find disinfectant spray would be here at the dollar store. And even then, there'd only be like one or two. And now they got a whole bunch of them. I'm wearing this hat. Isn't that a cool hat? I know I got a shitload of Nationals hats. But I like it. It's a World Series hat. It's only $10. See that? Why not? Buying this hat. 